our favorite school or maybe our premier school is the, the weekend school at the Anchor Bee Ranch. So it's probably easier to understand when you're doing it. It's a very useful, uh, very useful dry fly technique. And this is a um, kind of a unique school because uh, it's for a small group of people, up to about, uh, we can probably maximum of about 10 people. And Linda and I teach it together. And um, because it's a small group and both of us are here as instructors, we can take people of varying experience degrees. So it's a great place for, for instance, for a father to come with a son or a nephew or a, um, someone to bring their spouse. If one of them has fly fished a lot and wants to improve their skills kind of a, uh, as an intermediate level fly fisher, they can come to this school with someone who's never fly fished before and they can both um, hopefully go away with some new information. Basically, we're equipped that we could go anywhere in Alberta to do a corporate school. We really um, like to do fly fishing schools for companies. A lot of companies find it quite, uh, the idea of a fly fishing school, quite appealing as an altern alternative to, to golf or horseback riding or whitewater rafting. Fort Calgary is perfect for us. Uh, there's a beautiful room upstairs in Fort Calgary. They cater the meals for us. Um, it's very well put together. Everything we need is, is done. We've got tables. The, the, the lunch is, is wonderful. And so I can't think of another place. It's right on the banks of the Bow River and uh, you can do demonstrations there on the water. And there's lots of room outside to do uh, false casting and, and learning, learning how to cast. We teach a number of schools down in the Crow's Nest Pass, which is probably the area of Alberta where there's the greatest concentration of good trout streams. Uh, we do most of those schools on the Crow's Nest River itself and some of them are basic schools, some of them are um, specific to one technique, dry fly schools, nymph or streamer schools, and one that we call listening to the river which is really just focuses on trying to figure out what to do when. One of the questions people always have is, well, I understand how you fish dry flies and nymphs and streamers, but I, when I get to the river I'm kind of I don't know where to start or what to do and so that school kind of addresses the the whole idea of trying to figure out what the river is suggesting to you and how to you know how to respond and choose a good a good fishing plan. We also give lots of women's introductory courses and or a women's walk and wade they want to just go a little further past the introductory course. Linda teaches women's only fly fishing schools both for beginner fly fishers and for for uh, ladies who've had some fly fishing experience. You know it, it, this is really interesting because I just figured this out a couple months ago and in the last three years, this year in particular, 40% of our students are female. One of my favorite courses is a progressive school and in this school there's lots of people, we have lots of fun, but we do um, six evenings, uh, two hours each and, and it, it's progressive. We start off and, and we build on that and somebody who's just starting to fly fish can take the whole six courses, uh, six sessions, and uh, and put it all together from classroom to on the water sessions. But also people can come in if they've got their equipment already, if they know how to tie the knots. They don't need to come to those sessions. They can just come to the on the water sessions, and so they can just um, pop in for that one evening session and, and gain some experience that way as well.